Adverse Drug Reaction, Wikipedia Article Audio An adverse drug reaction is an injury caused by taking a medication. ADRs may occur following a single dose or prolonged administration of a drug or result from the combination of two or more drugs. The meaning of this expression differs from the meaning of side effect, as this last expression might also imply that the effects can be beneficial. The study of ADRs is the concern of the field known as pharmacovigilance. An adverse drug event refers to any injury occurring at the time a drug is used, whether or not it is identified as a cause of the injury. An ADR is a special type of aid in which a causative relationship can be shown. ADRs may be classified by e.g. cause and severity. Classification Cause Types A and B were proposed in the 1970s, and the other types were proposed subsequently when the first two proved insufficient to classify ADRs. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration defines a serious adverse event as one when the patient outcome is one of the following. Severity is a point on an arbitrary scale of intensity of the adverse event in question. The terms severe and serious when applied to adverse events are technically very different. They are easily confused but cannot be used interchangeably, requiring care and usage. A headache is severe, if it causes intense pain. There are scales like visual analog scale that help clinicians assess the severity. On the other hand, a headache is not usually serious unless it also satisfies the criteria for seriousness listed above. Adverse effects may be local, i.e. limited to a certain location, or systemic, where a medication has caused adverse effects throughout the systemic circulation. Severity For instance, some ocular antihypertensives cause systemic effects although they are administered locally as eye drops, since a fraction escapes to the systemic circulation. As research better explains the biochemistry of drug use, fewer ADRs are type B and more are type A common mechanisms are. Location Various diseases, especially those that cause renal or hepatic insufficiency, may alter drug metabolism. Resources are available that report changes in a drug's metabolism due to disease states. Abnormal drug metabolism may be due to inherited factors of either phase I oxidation or phase II conjugation. Pharmacogenomics is the study of the inherited basis for abnormal drug reactions. Inheriting abnormal alleles of cytochrome P450 can alter drug metabolism. Tables are available to check for drug interactions due to P450 interactions. Mechanisms Inheriting abnormal butyryl cholinesterase may affect metabolism of drugs such as succinylcholine. Abnormal pharmacokinetics Inheriting abnormal N-acetyltransferase which conjugated some drugs to facilitate excretion may affect the metabolism of drugs such as isoniazid, hydralazine, and procainamide. Comorbid disease states Inheriting abnormal thiopurine S-methyltransferase may affect the metabolism of the thiopurine drugs mercaptopurine and azathioprine. The risk of drug interactions is increased with polypharmacy. Genetic factors These interactions are usually transient and mild until a new steady state is achieved. These are mainly for drugs without much first-pass liver metabolism. The principal plasma proteins for drug binding are some drug interactions with warfarin are due to changes in protein binding. 
Patients have abnormal metabolism by cytochrome P450 due to either inheriting abnormal alleles or due to drug interactions. Tables are available to check for drug interactions due to P450 interactions. An example of synergism is two drugs that both prolong the QT interval. Causality assessment is used to determine the likelihood that a drug caused a suspected ADR. There are a number of different methods used to judge causation, including the Naranjo algorithm, the Venulet algorithm and the WHO causality term assessment criteria. Each have pros and cons associated with their use and most require some level of expert judgment to apply. An ADR should not be labeled as certain unless the ADR abates with a challenge D challenge re challenge protocol. The chronology of the onset of the suspected ADR is important, as another substance or factor may be implicated as a cause. CO prescribed medications and underlying psychiatric conditions may be factors in the ADR. Phase I reactions Assigning causality to a specific agent often proves difficult, unless the event is found during a clinical study or large databases are used. Both methods have difficulties and can be fraught with error. Even in clinical studies some ADRs may be missed as large numbers of test individuals are required to find that adverse drug reaction. Psychiatric ADRs are often missed as they are grouped together in the questionnaires used to assess the population. Phase 2 Reactions Many countries have official bodies that monitor drug safety and reactions. On an international level, the WHO runs the Uppsala Monitoring Centre, and the European Union runs the European Medicines Agency. In the United States, the Food and Drug Administration is responsible for monitoring post-marketing studies. In Canada, the Marketed Health Products Directorate of Health Canada is responsible for the surveillance of marketed health products. In Australia, the Therapeutic Goods Administration conducts post-market monitoring of therapeutic products. Death, life-threatening hospitalization, disability, significant, persistent or permanent change, impairment, damage or disruption in the patient's body function slash structure, physical activities or quality of life, congenital anomaly, requires intervention to prevent permanent impairment or damage. A study by the Agency for Healthcare Research and Quality found that in 2011, Sedatives and hypnotics were a leading source for adverse drug events seen in the hospital setting. Approximately 2.8% of all AIDS present on admission and 4.4% of AIDS that originated during a hospital stay were caused by a sedative or hypnotic drug. A second study by AHRQ found that in 2011, the most common specifically identified causes of adverse drug events that originated during hospital stays in the U.S. were steroids, antibiotics, opiates-slash-narcotics, and anticoagulants. Patients treated in urban teaching hospitals had higher rates of AIDS involving antibiotics and opiates-slash-narcotics compared to those treated in urban non-teaching hospitals. Those treated in private, non-profit hospitals had higher rates of most aid causes compared to patients treated in public or private, for-profit hospitals. In the U.S., females had a higher rate of AIDS involving opiates and narcotics than males in 2011, while male patients had a higher rate of anticoagulant AIDS. Nearly 8 in 1,000 adults aged 65 years or older experienced one of the four most common AIDS during hospitalization. A study showed that 48% of patients had an adverse drug reaction to at least one drug, and pharmacist involvement helps to pick up adverse drug reactions. Abnormal pharmacokinetics due to genetic factors 
Comorbid Disease states. In 2012 McKinsey & Co. concluded that the cost of the 35 million preventable adverse drug events would be as high as 115 billion US dollars. Interactions with other drugs Protein binding Cytochrome P450 Synergistic effects Assessing causality Monitoring bodies Epidemiology